whether you want to take things a bit more seriously and maybe even become a videographer or you just want to get most out of your camera make sure to watch this video last week i got a comment from this bytes for you asking me how he could improve the quality of his videos in this comment he also mentioned that he was filming everything in 60 frames per second because this is the ideal frame rate in gaming now there is a difference between the ideal frame rates per second in gaming and the ideal frame rates per second in filmmaking but I understand that this concept is not very clear to everyone and that is why I decided to dedicate an entire video to this. Also before we start at the end of the video I included an overview with all the frame rates and all the shutter speeds that go with each frame rate according to the 180 degree rule which we will go into later in the video. Let's start at the beginning. When someone mentions frame rate, they are referring to frames per second. A video consists of a series of still images or frames, and that means that when you're filming in 24 frames per second, there are 24 still images in one second. If you're filming in 60 frames per second, it means that there is 60 still images in a second. Now, there is a difference between the ideal frame rate in filming and in gaming. When it comes to games, in general, they say that 60 frames per second is preferred. For most fast games or games with a lot of animations or a lot of effects and multiplayer games, they say 60 frames per second is ideal and will prevent lagging. Now, in filmmaking, it's a bit different. In filmmaking, they say the ideal frames per second is 24 frames per second if you choose to go for a cinematic look. If you want to go for this cinematic look, you go for 24 frames per second. But you can also go for 30 frames per second if you want everything to be a bit smoother. This is what a lot of TV programs film in and this is what I had to film in when I was filming for a local TV station. So you can go for 24 frames per second, you can go for 30, but you can also go for 60 frames per second. And 60 frames per second means that there is double the information because there is double the number of frames within a second. So this means if you want to slow your clip down, you should go for a higher frame rate. You can also slow down a clip that's shot in 24 frames per second. But what this means is that there's only 24 still images within a second. So there's only limited information. And when it comes to slowing down clips, the more information, the better. So if you have a clip of 24 frames per second, it's going to look a little bit choppy. But then if you film something in 60 frames per second, that means that you have double the information. So you can just put like a frame in between every frame that you would have shot in 24 frames per second to smooth things out. Does this mean that you have to film in 24 frames per second? No, you don't have to film in 24 frames per second. It depends on the look that you're going for. You can shoot in 60 frames per second or even 120 frames per second. It doesn't matter. But there are two things that you have to consider. The first one is that higher frames per second, like I previously mentioned, means more information. And more information means that there is more storage needed. So take this into account if you decide to shoot at a higher frame rate. The second thing that you have to consider has to do with shutter speed. I touched on this in another video, which I will link in the description box. Shutter speed refers to the time that the shutter of your camera is open. 250th of a second is way faster than 150th of a second. And when a shutter closes faster, that means that less light can come in. So that is the second thing that I recommend to consider when you're choosing your frame rate. Now, setting your shutter speed is very easy. There is something that's called a 180 degree rule. Basically, this means that you have to multiply your frame rate by two. So if you're shooting in 24 frames per second, it means that you have to set your shutter speed to 1 50th. And if you're shooting in 60 frames per second, it has to be set to 125th of a second. If you set a lower shutter speed, that means that the motion in your video is going to look blurry. And if you set it higher than the 180 degree rule, that means that everything is going to look very robotic and sharp. So therefore it is very important not to forget to set your shutter speed when you choose your frame rate. Like I said, I don't really think that it matters too much in what frame rate you're shooting in. For example, if you're a vlogger, you want some nice B-roll, so you want some slow-mo, and you decide that you want to film everything in 60 frames per second, that is totally fine. However, if you find yourself cranking up your ISO because your location is too dark, I would recommend dropping it to 24 frames per second because then you can set your shutter speed to 1 50th of a second, which means that there is more time for light to come in, which means that you can keep your ISO low and that means that the quality of the image will be best. If you want to know what ISO exactly means, 
I will put my video in the description box or you, you're free to watch whatever video you want, but I'll put mine in the description box so you can check that out. The most important thing when you're choosing your frame rate is to set your shutter speed accordingly and you do that by multiplying the frame rates times two. As promised, I made a little overview with all the frame rates and the shutter speeds that go with each frame rate so that you can screenshot it if you want that and you can save it on your phone and then when you're out to shoot and you forgot about the 180 rule, in case you forget, you can just refer back to the screenshot and you won't end up with weird footage. I hope that now you have a clear understanding of what frame rates are and what the ideal frame rate for you is. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and more importantly, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when more videos come out and so that we can see each other again. Before you leave, I do have a question. What is your preferred frame rate when you shoot a video? Let me know in the comments and I hope to see you again in my next video. I do have a question before you leave and that is... What is everyone doing today?